Hello, for this video we have a car. Uh, it's moving and then slams on its brakes. Um, so it locks up all four wheels, which means it's sliding along the ground now. Uh, so the distance between the two wheels, we've got an eight foot distance here. Uh, and we know that the center of mass is three feet back from the front wheel and 2.5 feet up from the ground. Um, so we want to draw a free body diagram of this car as it comes to a stop. All right, so step one is to separate the car, which is our body, from everything else. And the only other object in this, uh, in this scenario is going to be the ground. And so let's draw our car. Do it big enough we can get all the forces in there. So I'm going to start with my two wheels and just kind of get the general uh, car shape. This is some sort of little hatchback car. All right, so now we need to think about the types of forces that are acting on our body. Um, so <clears throat> in this, we're going to have the gravity force. Uh, so this car has some sort of weight uh, acting on the center of mass. And so I'm going to draw, again, the center of mass was two or three feet back and 2.5 feet up. So draw that center of mass and draw in FG, the gravity force. Uh, and now I'm going to draw in um, reaction forces or normal forces at each of the two contact points. So the car is in contact up at the front and he over here at the back. Um, technically, there'd be four contact points, one for each tire, uh, but we kind of reduce this to two wheels and a 2D problem. All right, so I'm going to have FR1, that's my normal forces up front. And FR2, that's my normal forces in the back. All right. <clears throat> and so what else? I, the other thing I know is this vehicle is moving. So presumably it's moving forward. Uh, and it's locked up its wheels. So it's sliding in the forward direction, which means the friction forces are slowing it down. So friction forces are parallel. And it's both front and back wheels parallel to the ground. Um, and each one of these is going to have its own friction force. So friction force one, friction force two, um, and then other forces. I don't really seem to have any other forces. Um, so these are the forces. I also need to be careful at this point. I need to label the, the dimensions uh, in this uh, as well as the uh, actual forces. Um, so. Again, I've got the front wheel. If I measure this whole thing, I know the distance between front and back was eight feet. I know that the distance from the front wheel to this, horizontally, that was three feet. And I know that the center of mass over here was 2.5 feet up. And so now I've got all the forces, all the dimensions, all the important dimensions, um, and I've got my free body diagram. So with that, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.